all right guys now let's add the uh, node form in the index.html file so for that uh, i'll just add the javascript code here so when the map is clicked click and then i have to render the function with event and then if you type console log event here it will store the uh, latitude and longitude information so if you click on map then you will get the lat long dot lat which holds the latitude value and lat long dot long which holds the longitude value so let me create the variable for lat and long so lat will be the um, e dot lat long dot lat and then lang will be the e dot lat long dot long and then let me create the marker as well so marker will be the l dot marker and then i will add the marker at the exact latitude and longitude point that is just clicked point so and then marker dot add to map so let me save this and if i reload it again and when i click on map it will add the marker to the current position so yeah so let me add the um, note form so when the marker is clicked it should be appear one pop up with the uh, form uh, and then this hold the information of note heading and note uh, actual description things so let let me add the one variable called uh, pop up so bar pop up equal to let me copy and paste some code here all right so here i copy and pasted some code of uh, which is the bootstrap um, function so here you can see uh, let me format little bit so here you can see I added the form with action uh, URL is called to note which uh, we have to go to this uh, inside GeoApp inside URL or we have to go to this URL note URL and it will render the note view this note view is coming from note.views so if I check it here so this views.py file it will check the whether the request is get or post so if it found the post request then it will uh, it will get the information from post request uh, uh, like note heading note description lat and long so we we have to pass these things so make sure you edit csrf token as well mm, so in the post request we have to add this token and then here this is the simple db element so it's uh, nothing nothing this strength and then here uh, the main line of code is this one so input type uh, text and then name is note heading so you have to make sure uh, the this is the same name as uh, which is here in the views.py so just copy and paste it here if it's different and then similarly we have this latitude and longitude is the input type hidden we have hidden field and then it will store the uh, name is called to lat and name is called to lang and then value will be lat and longitude which is from here click point and then here you can see the note so note description maybe note description and then in note description here you can see the text area filled with a name note so the value will be the inside these things enter note here so if you uh, go back to the uh, our application and if you reload it if you click on map and then the uh, pop-up should appear but it's not appearing this is due to i have to add the uh, pop-up field here uh, dot marker dot pop up bind pop up bind pop up and then I have to pass the pop up 
this pop-up is the bind pop-up uh, field so if i save and reload it so if i click on this marker it will add the uh, this uh, note heading and note description tag so by default the form is very small so if you take this form it form and then this width is 90 pixel by default so i'll uh, replace this to maybe 300 pixel so for that i have to add the style tag here in the head section and then i can just paste it leaflet pop up content and then i can set its weight to um, 300 pixel so if i save it and reload it then our form will be available a uh, little bit larger so let's now let's try uh, putting things so i'll add the note heading is note heading and then uh, okay note heading and then uh, this will be the note note description and if i submit this it should be available in the our pg admin so let me send it so i already send it and if i refresh this table so now our uh, note is uh, available here so note heading is available maybe there is some problem in note description and then latitude in longitude also available here so let me check the note description field so here uh, my name is note not note i think dec uh, this is the actual name from views.py so this note dec so if i just copy it and then paste it this name field here so it will be available now so let me try one more time if i click and then if i note heading 2 and then note description 2 and then if i submit this so it will be it should be available here in the notes table so now we have note heading to note description to and then these things so yeah in this way you can just simply uh, send the data to the post uh, postgres uh, sql so the, in this way you can save the model so you you can send your latitude and longitude information to the database this video is just the part of my course on Udemy, titled is Web Mapping and Web GIS from Dev to Deploy 2021. If you want to learn deeply about GeoJango things, you can check out the discounted link in the description below.